Hello friends. So far we have completed three parts of our CRUD with Ajax in Rails 6 series. Uh, now we are switching to the part 4 where we will add uh, some bootstrap classes to the user resource so it would look uh, a bit nicer than whatever it is right now. So let's start with that. We will start with part 4 here. Now, first start with the user's index page. Rather than first, let's add user link to the home page so that every time we do not have to uh, type in the URL. Let's go to the shared folder, header folder and shared folder, header file and add a copy this link to users see the users link here let's click on this link okay now we will start uh, adding bootstrap classes at this page first so open the index file inside the users folder now let's add some classes to the table first we will add class table table border this will create uh, this will uh, change this to a styled bootstrap table now let's refresh the page and see that you can see this form here sorry this page as a bit nicer here now we need to add some drop down for this three actions we will add all this show edit and destroy action together in a single form open get bootstrap open the drop down then just copy this text and paste it here Get a new PD and add that line here. You will see that in like this. You can see. So we will add name this drop down button as actions and we will add link for show edit and destroy here in drop down. So first name it like actions. And add this link with this li and just add a class here. Open item. A link for show has been created now uh, add a link for edit copy this one paste here and update this like edit edit user path pass user as argument And now the last link which is for store users so add it like link to destroy method delete get 
kita confirm I'm sure and add comma here now remove these three table data tags and load the page now you can see actions button here this is working same if you delete, delete that ok now we are done here remove this call span 3 because we have only single button there and now copy this link tag and add this at the base below the users heading so that uh, for creating any user we don't have to scroll till the bottom of the page now you can see that our table look a bit nicer but now we need to uh, put this table inside some container so let's open it Plus div plus container it's arrow plus add a division class here div plus call lg10 mx md auto let's put our table and the link in the user section inside this link so now we have our table inside this container let's reload the page now you can see so we can uh, it looks very a bit small so we can remove this and we can make it like call lg12 save this now it looks a bit nicer there are a uh, few more table classes you can search from step and you can add there like these are the table classes but that is not our purpose here so I'm just uh, making it uh, keeping it very simple and now let's uh, convert this new user to a button so that it also looks a bit nicer so let's add a button class here Done primary and btn lg and I'm let's save this load the page you will see a new user button now uh, add mv4 so there is some space between table and the button so now when you click on new user you will see the form so we have added a style to the index page now we will add the same style to the new uh, to the form so let's open the form and replace all these fields with uh, uh, form group class so I'm using a shortcut here, control H field replace with form form group. Now I'm adding here. And I will add class form control after the end of every contact. So I will add class 
Control. You will see that the fields are in full width now, but uh, it does not look uh, very. Since Bootstrap is applied here, but it does not look very cool form. So we will add something to new user. We will add container and row classes here as well. Container. Add a class row. is 7 and put everything inside first copy this it is on edit as well and now and that is still and now let's load the page now it looks a bit nicer one thing that we can do here is that we can add a button class to create user as well. So come to the form. We don't. We can avoid having this link on this page here as well. And we can add this on form partial. We can add button class here. Btn btn primary. Btn lg and here we can add another class button button outline primary btn lg and add this also as a form group and add mp4 mb5 Uh, you will see a better button here let's click here now let's click on a edit link you need to do the same thing at edit let's add controller class here container in the row class in okay. class call lg6 37 put everything inside this space here and remove these links because uh, I can avoid this and we already added the show link to form so now it, this is also looks a bit nicer click here let's see this so now we have added styles to uh, bootstrap uh, we have added bootstrap styles to our user form user index space and one more thing that we can edit here is that we can uh, improve this user show.html so and uh, we can also keep this form inside uh, container class the class container and add, uh, class row Class call LG seven and then put everything inside that. And add button classes to this class in between primary between LG. and use class 
begin with the end outline primary in LG that's a phrase page it looks a bit nicer now you can click on backlink you will come here and when you click show you will go to the details and click edit edit form and click on the new you'll get the new so this is what we have to done and we did achieve that completely uh, there are fewer styles that you can add actually there are many more other different kind of styles that you can add and you can follow this structure like uh, rather than displaying user these uh, user like this table you can display the code like uh, uh, accordions in this manner like uh, collapsible list and you can also use cards to display your users like this and there are many more options so but now we have for now we have only added, only added uh, very basic styles and that was the main objective of this course uh, sorry this part and in the next part we will switch to our Ajax we will start adding Ajax to the our resource for performing CRUD so let's meet in the next lecture and thanks for watching this